What do you think is the most desirable physical trait for an athlete? What it comes down to for athleticism is not strength, not power, not flexibility, not speed even. It's responsiveness. And as I can see how some people might think like, what's the difference between speed and responsiveness? But there's a huge difference because you can be fast, but to be responsive, you, you have to also be accurate. You have to be accurate. Your timing has to be good. I've seen tons of basketball players, especially at the younger ages now, who are just full speed all the time because you get this thing in your head and coaches are, you know, are putting this thing in your head about work ethic and going all out, going all out. That's a common phrase, go all out. You don't want to always go all out. The best athletes know when to go all out and when to hold back. If you're always all out, that's very easy to guard. If I'm a defender and you're always all out, it's like fighting an angry blind person. You just stay the hell out of the way and you have no control. So what you need is responsiveness. In a sport like basketball or any sport that requires agility, injuries happen because of lack of responsiveness in the moment. If you're a young athlete and you're spending a lot of time in the gym developing a lot of strength, putting on muscle, and you're developing a big engine, to use an analogy, okay? It's like you're putting an engine with a whole bunch of horsepower in a car. If the car isn't very responsive, meaning the steering, the suspension, the alignment, everything is not precision built so that it can handle that speed and it can handle that power and all that strength that you're putting on, then when you're in a situation and you're going full tilt down the court and you have to make a decision at a split second, well, now it's like you're too strong for your own good because you're going at a speed or you're going with a amount of force that your body cannot structurally cope with. Especially when you throw in the realities of sport, which is uncertainty, you know, variability, unpredictability. So now you're going full speed and then you have to make a last minute decision. You have to cut all of a sudden, your reflexes take over. And I always talk about trusting your reflexes, training so that you can develop and trust your reflexes and then building strength so that your strength supports your natural reflexes because when shit hits the fan, your reflexes are gonna take over. Athletes think themselves out of the game a lot, but when it really comes down to it, you're not gonna have time to think. In the moment when the big plays happen, when split second decisions have to be made, you don't have time to think. You, you know that if you're an athlete, you just react. So whatever your natural reflex kicks in, you better hope your body's responsive enough to deal with that decision. Even if you don't have time to necessarily make the decision, your structure itself has to be responsive, meaning your joints have to be able to do what your reflex demands that they do. So if, I, if something's flying in my head and, I, and my reflex is to just hit the ground and duck, well, if you have a knee that can't compress and you try to shoot yourself down into a squat quickly, then your body's not responsive enough to handle your reflex. There's instinctual, natural reflexes that kind of everyone has. You know, they're, they're not gonna change. So if I whip something at your face, you're gonna go like this to block it, or you're gonna duck. But your reflex is gonna change over time depending on what your body can handle. Your body has its own intelligence. You're not thinking through these things. It's, it happens too fast. So over time, your body starts to learn, oh, well, I can't, I can't do that. That's not an option for me, so it's not gonna try to. And if you try to override it, which a lot of times happens, you try to override your body's intelligence, that's when, you, that's when it breaks, you get injured. So you really have to listen to your body. You're paying attention. You're not just following some program and going through the motions. You're not Googling how to train like a professional basketball player and then just following that program like it's good for you. You have no idea if that's appropriate for your body or not. If you're in senior year of high school, what business do you have following a, a basketball program for somebody who's first year in the NBA? Completely different levels of physical preparation. So it's listening to your body means having the sense to follow the intelligence of your body, to work with your body, not work against it. And it all comes down to developing your athleticism 
not just getting in the gym and thinking that getting bigger, stronger, faster is making you more athletic. Those are things that empower your athletic ability. They support your athleticism. But you need to be able to coordinate, you need to have rhythm, you need to have timing, you need to be structurally sound. You need structural integrity. If you want to become more athletic, then you need athletic engineering. That's how we came up with the name. You need to engineer yourself to be an athlete. And that's not just putting on size, strength, speed.